Hey YouTube, how you guys doing today? Kevin here coming back at you with another video. Okay, so um, this video is going to be the proper way of installing your hitch and inspecting your clip. Okay, now I get a lot of people, I see this all the time, I walk through Walmart and these things are installed incorrectly. So what could happen is this pin could fall out, this could vibrate out, and then your trailer would come dislodged from your vehicle. Um, this does happen. I see it at least once or twice a year on the news. So I figured I'd uh, have a little discussion about it. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is line up your pinhole when you do this. Now, we're gonna talk about this pin for a second. See this bend? This bend serves as two purposes, okay? One, it stops the pin from coming out. And two, it acts as a little weight. So we're going to install it going this way. It doesn't really matter which way you do, but for the video, I'm gonna install it this way with the weight facing down. The weight always faces the ground. I go it in there. And now your hole is at 12 and six o'clock, okay? This is your hairpin clip, they call it. Your pin should be touching here. If your pin, if this is wide and you can see a gap in there, take this and throw it away. It is no good, okay? The pin has to be touching at the lowest point for a thing to be good. And when you pull it apart, it should have some spring tension to it, and that is the proper way to check a clip. Now, with the weight facing down, okay, I'm gonna rotate it a little bit so I can put the clip in. The clip goes in from the back, and it should you should have to have a little bit of a hard time putting it in. Okay, snapped in, and now it's touching here. So when the weight is facing down, the hairpin is this way. If the hairpin is pushed up, it could come out. So right now, the weight is holding it down, and it's inserted from the top down there is no way for this pin to come out when i rotate it the vibration from the car is going to have the weight pull it back down that way so there is no way for the pin to come out that is the proper way to install your hitch pin okay if you put it the other way and this part right here wears out this will open up this will fall out and then the pin will vibrate out and then you'll lose your trailer so I want to touch base with you guys on that because this has to be touching even after it's installed. If you install this and the pin has a gap, that means you're using the wrong hairpin for this hitch. So I just want to touch base with you guys and show you guys that there is a proper way to install the hitch pin. And that in the relaxed position, with it not being in the, um, in the pin, it should be touching. After it's installed in the pin, it still should be touching. This pin should always be touching. And when I say touching, the lower part right here, the gap, there should be no gap. Okay? And that is the proper way to install a hitch pin. With the pin going from the top down. And on this side right here, the weight or lock part facing down. Because it can't come out this way. There's no possible way for it to come out. It binds itself right in and that's why it's got the bend, but it's also a weight. A lot of people don't know that. So, I figured I would touch base with you guys on that and do a quick little video on the proper way to install a hitch pin. I see it done incorrectly all the time, so I figured I would do a video. So anyway guys, as always, thank you for watching and I hope this helps you. And uh, that is prop that's the proper way to secure your, um, your trailer hitch. So, talk to you guys later. I'm out.